I'm in the beautiful lakeside town of Chelan, Washington, to help a husband and wife repair their bad reputation. They have built walls around themselves. They are absolutely no part of this community. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. There's no such thing as a fresh burger. What? And they are so stubborn. You don't even know the fucking story. It'll be a challenge to get through to them. All you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. And I totally fucking disagree with that. Chelan, Washington, surrounded by the gorgeous Cascade Mountains, situated on Lake Chelan. This small town is home to the Lakeview Hotel and BC McDonald's restaurant. Owners Brent and Anthony McDonald have been in business here for over 15 years. We bought the hotel in 2000. We came into town and, and a lot of the locals, they really didn't want to see us make it. They figured they won't be here long. Well, I let them know that we are going nowhere. You're stuck with us. The Lakeview Hotel is adults only. We think that it's the nicest hotel probably in the state of Washington. We have a great place here, BC McDonald Lakeview Hotel, but business is really slow. We're losing probably 30,000 a month. Easy. The financial situation here at the hotel and the restaurant, it is tough. And this year it's extremely tough because we had wildfires in the area. And quite honestly, that's what kind of has broke the bank. The majority of the reason why there's no consistent business here is Brent and Afni's reputation. And I'm talking. I am talking. Customers come in and she said, you hurry up, you go sit down. I'm training, you sit down, we'll be with you in a minute. I'm the best employer in town. I think I'm easy to work with. Just be quiet, will you please? You know, I don't know why people don't like to be here. If you want to keep money flowing through, the locals need to like you. And, you know, if you have a bad attitude towards the locals or other customers, they're not going to come back. Get out there and do a little dance. Come on. I know you used to pole dance. Get your ass out there. I definitely get very embarrassed by some of the things he says. Well, I hope you got a lot of energy tonight, because, oh, no. baby, this is, this is no, Friday no, night. No, Friday no. night. People are coming to a nice restaurant. They don't want to hear dirty jokes and cussing and everything like that. Brent does not like to be told anything. You can tell him the sky's blue, and he's, it's going to upset him. I think that people are lucky to work for us. I think I got a great management style. Chelan is, is a beautiful town. The opportunity is there. Um, we just get overlooked because of Brent and Afni's reputation. All of our money that we have made in the last 30 years has been sunk into this business, and we have so much invested, we cannot stop, because otherwise we're, we're done. Could be. Okay. So. That's him. I did say Valley Park, right? Yeah, it's not my eyesight. Maybe he thinks he has the wrong place. Wee. Valley Park it is not. Wow. Roll, baby. The best breakfast, lunch, and dinner in town. Come on Hello. in. Come on in. How are you both? Good afternoon, yeah, good Chef afternoon. Ramsey. What a gorgeous drive that was. Oh, thank you. Uh, how are you? Oh, I always ladies first. Yeah, I, know, so. I, I, well, I, I totally understand yeah. that. Nice good to, to see meet you. Yeah. Um, are we uh, the valley parking on strike? It is, this time of year. So it's temporary valley parking. Uh, what do I do in my car? Because you kept the sign there. I, I'll park it for you. How about that? Wow. It's the last time we dusted in here. It's a bit dusty. Man. What's that there? Something is growing up there. Yeah. Can you see that, or is it me? Can I, you see I, that from I, there? I can see it. Wow. Yeah, I just right there. We missed I know you're one. both wearing glasses. I just want to make sure you can see it. <laughs> it's wow. Not, it's not real easy to see for me. How'd you get that down? Well, usually well, we, we have a, use we have that a long pole, long pole. And where is yeah. the pole? It's, it's right in the uh, back here. 
I'll be right back. Wow. Well, now you've made everything dusty down here. I've made it dusty. No, you haven't cleaned it. Yeah. Supposing that falls on a customer's head, what would you do? I don't, I don't think that it will, actually. Oh, you don't think it will? No. Well, it's been up there for about six months. It seems to oh, so be know. growing, actually. That is disgusting. Yeah. Brett, shame on you. I know it. Wow. And what's in here? More dust over here, Brett. Look. Is there more? You must have missed that spot, too. There's a big, long, creepy yes, crawler hanging yes, down I, there. Yes, I see that. Wow. We've been closed for the last three right. weeks. When it's so slow this time of the year, we go on a holiday. And when you close, do you normally clean before you close? Or would you come back dirty? Uh, come back uh, the way it is and... Wow. Look at that up there. We're, we're living in a very uh, dusty environment here. That's bullshit. Yeah, OK. Uh, come on, seriously? This is mountain clean air. Well, that, 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 that's, that's all true, yes. Oh, yes. oh there you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for that. No problem. I, I didn't expect to clean as I checked yeah. in. And I, oh, my god, there you go. They are gross, right? Don't mess it up too much. It's all going to come down. Well, how long are you thinking of keeping it up there? We might as well do them all while we're at it. We might as well do them all. Yeah. It's not funny. I've got to get this thing out here. Holy shit. Look at that. Jeez. God damn it, Daphne. Well, Why I'm didn't you fine. get to that? And how long have you owned this place? 15. 15 years? 15 years. Was you that just. The last time it was clean. It was clean. You just good. I, I was. You've got, a, you've got a great eye. Yeah, I can I tell was you just that. Missed. I've done lots of things on arrival, but I've never quite cleaned shit like that from a ceiling. Yeah. Can I give that back yeah, to you? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's going on here? On the front door, you've got 40 flavors. Yes. Sino samples. Yes. When we're really, really busy, we have a line that goes out the door. Yeah, and stop talking and about this. And if sorry. one person asks for uh, a sample, they will all ask for a sample. And how do you think all those yogurt franchises entice business? They offer samples, so they speculate to accumulate. Sorry, no samples. Sorry, no samples. Who comes up with all these stupid rules? Probably myself. Man, you like kicking the crap out of the locals, don't you? Yes. So I you take it we're not going to get. Oh, there's another one. Yes. There's me thinking that's a flavor. So how long ago did this close? Oh, my God, look how dusty it, that it, is. It's not closed. This is not closed? No, it's not. Stop. It is not. It looks like it's Oh, no. Bloody hell. Where's the stick gone? Please. Oh, my God. This is monstrous. This is like a cobweb on steroids. Where's the stick gone? She's getting it. So why did you close for three weeks? Uh, I went on a holiday. Wow. And where did you go? Mexico. Wow. Did you enjoy Mexico? Yeah. You we did. really en we enjoyed being uh, together. She only came for a week. She gives me what, uh, what do you mean? a week oh, by okay. myself. Say, say, say that again? You go on holiday on your own? I do. Rest for a week, and yeah. your wife comes for the second uh, week? My wife and daughter meet me for the second week. Would you not like to go for two weeks holiday? I, well, I would love to if I have a chance. Oh, I see. Right. Um, I just want to yeah. get this thing down here. Have you seen the size of this one? Yep. Holy crap. Is that a keeper? That. Look at that. This is above an ice cream reaction. parlor. If we turn that on, it's going to spin dust. Well, hopefully it won't. Well, oh, we... Look at that. Yeah, that is on. Look at now. What? I, I think you're doing awesome, actually. I, I think that we should yeah. possibly hire him, really, you know? I'm glad that I'm hired to clean. Yeah, that's... Wow. Do I have to take this to my room? It may be a good idea. Are you serious? No. Let's go. No dust, right? Oh, shit. Whilst I'm up here, look. Oh, come on. No, but look at these ones here on the top we'll, of that. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, now you'll get it. Well, it's obvious that you haven't done it before. Well, Let's go. you know. How many rooms do you have here? Twelve. Twelve. Wow. This room probably isn't for you, but we're going to give it to you anyway. What do you mean by that? It's for people that haven't been laid for a while, quite honestly. Say that again, sorry? People that haven't been laid. 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 As in? As in? What's that got to do with me checking into this room? Wow. And this is a room for those who haven't been laid recently. You don't talk like that to guests. Well, this is an awesome room. It offers the best view that we have right. of the river part of Lake Chelan. Wow, wow. Has a stacked stone fireplace, awesome ceiling. I think they're 15 feet. 
And um, it's an awesome dusty ceiling. See those beams? I can see. Yeah, I see that a little bit. Wow, man, what is it with dust around here? Well, as I said, we're in a dusty area. Apart from the dust, the rooms are gorgeous. Yes. These are the air conditioning uh, units. Where's that? So you don't have that funky thing down here that cries motel. I thought it was a TV. No, it's uh, air conditioning. It's both, we program it for both AC or... Right, so where do I adjust the temperature? Uh, you don't. They're preset. It's set at 68 degrees. Wow. Why is it set like that? I keep the remote controls because yes. I absolutely know that they will get screwed up if I leave them up here in the room. You don't give samples, you don't let me keep the remotes, and you don't let me bring the temperature up or down. It's not really the get laid room, is it? Uh, that's up to you. Wow, well, you're, you're setting the bar. You're, you're right. telling me what I can and what I can't do. Weird, very weird. Look how dusty this is as well. How do I open that up? So you got all these fancy would you, would you like me to open it? Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. When was the last time they were cleaned? That gets cleaned about twice a year. Ugh. Uh, would you mind if I just make it three times this year? Yeah, I think that sounds great, actually. OK. So the air conditioning unit you control, they have to breathe in this shit at night. Are you bullshitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. Right. Can you... Um, I will take that. You mind? Yeah. I've got no interest in breathing yeah. your uh, dust. OK, I'm going to unpack and I'll be down in five minutes. OK. Please. Right. Wow. Whew. Honestly, look at that. It's terrible. Disgusting. Hello. Hi. Man, um, the dust when I walked in. What the hell was going on there? Bizarre. How long have you been here? A month. So you're a new kid on the block? I am, yes. Wow. <laughs> Do they go through a lot of stuff? I think so. There is some that have been here for years, but actually wow. the ones that were here, the cooks, they have recently yeah. left and... I mean, how would you describe them as bosses? Um, different than any I've ever had. Yeah, I'll say. Anyway, let's order. Um, obviously I was going to have a glass of wine, hoping to get sure. something local, having just driven through those amazing vineyards, but there's nothing local here. <laughs> no. I mean, New Zealand, Sauvignon Blanc. How weird. Uh, what would you recommend for lunch? What's the soup today? The soup is a minestrone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, BC's bacon burger. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a, a pizza as well. The oh, homemade, right? Oh, sorry, actually, we don't do the pizzas any longer. I don't know why the page is not taken out. Wow. Okay. Uh, anything else that's not on? We are out of the pork stir fry, and we do not have chili. Uh, no chili. Wow. Let's do a prime rib as well with that, shall we? Um. Please. I believe we're out of prime rib. Oh, we're out, we're out of a lot I of things. I believe so, yeah. The um, turkey ciabatta dip is usually a good one. Let's, let's do a turkey dip. OK. Um, hold on a minute, breaking news. BC soon to be famous, teriyaki steak. What the fuck does that mean? When someone says soon to be famous, who writes this shit on the menu? <laughs> soon to be famous. Why would that be on the menu? I think we should try it. Let's go. Um, I think we're done. OK. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, mate. Okay, do you need help? Minister suit, right? Correct. Excellent. Wow, that doesn't even taste homemade. It's frozen. It's frozen. Yes. Frozen minister suit. Yeah. Okay. This is terrible. We've got the BC bacon burger. Wow. Jeez. Look how thin that is. My onion ring is thicker than my pate. <laughs> huh? Where are they from? I, I'll find out that answer. On the hamburgers, it says on the menu, certified Angus beef. Where do we get that? Are they fresh or frozen? No, we, we always come back that's frozen. $12.95. Let's have a cooked. And the, the, the pate is bland. It actually tastes frozen. But please tell it, us. It, it does come frozen. So it says fresh, and it's not anywhere near. $13 for that. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, the food coming out is very good. This is the um, turkey milk. Thank, Thank you. you. And what's this here? That is the broth for the turkey. The dip. broth. Mm -hmm. If you want to dip your sandwich in it. Holy <laughs> shit. What is that in there? Just have a little sip. Wow. So salty. Yes, it is. So bad. 
It's salty and bitter. Jesus. You want to taste this, actually. He had me taste it. Oh, yeah, it's really salty. Really salty? Yeah. Holy shit. This <coughs> here is the teriyaki chicken burger. The nearly famous burger. What the fuck? What is that? What's he doused it in? Teriyaki over cheese. Oh, nearly famous. Because it's about to be famous to send me to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. Okay. I'll just have a coffee. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Right. Let's get reviewing. Well, headline, do not go here. If you want mediocre, overpriced food, this is the place for you. Unfortunately, not my dig. Bloody hell. Wow, well, this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. I mean, look at the headlines. What an odd place. The owner badmouthed another local place at our table. Do not go here. Run, 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 far away. Horrible service, terrible food, and stupid expensive. The owners are jerks who are rude and don't support their staff. They don't welcome kids. No wonder this place is empty. Is that bad? It is. It's very awkward. You know, Afni says they don't listen to this. These are customers. They're all right. negative. And psst, FYI, <laughs> no samples allowed. That's right. It's a tight bastard. Yeah. Is he really stingy? Absolutely. Is he? Yeah. And the lack of, you know, children or... And they do have a um, teenage daughter. So they have a teenage daughter, but they don't welcome kids. Yes. He goes on holiday for a week on his own, suns himself, gets nice and bronzed. Then she joins him for the second week. But he wants a week on his own. Oh. It's just like, wow. what are you talking about? I have not heard that. Yeah. What a creep. Yeah. If I did that to my wife, she'd kick me in the nuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm at a loss. This place is depressing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to um, get the owners down here. Let's just have a little debrief, shall we? OK. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Jesus Christ. They want us? He does. Yeah. Let's go. It's OK. Take everything it's fine serious. With me. Don't say anything. No. Make, like, fun. No, no, no. You think that it's not fun? Stop it. Okay. I'm at a loss. The biggest kick in the balls for me is that on the menu it states homemade, fresh, daily changing, soup of the day. Your soup of the day, mm -hmm. Brent, is frozen. Can you make minestrone soup? Yes. How much does it cost to make a litre? A uh, couple bucks. Tell the owner. And you have the nearly famous burger. I'd like to congratulate you because it's now famous as the most disgusting bit of shit between a bun I've ever seen. You have a slice of red onion that's thicker than your pate. It was frozen, and you're charging $13.95 for it. I don't know how low we can go. The list, everything's from New Zealand. There's not even a local wine on here. Well... Give it to me, then. Well, I'll give it to you. Most of these wineries all opened up restaurants. There, there are competitors. So you can't support the local vineyards. Yeah, well... I came in here to help. I'm laughed at, lied to, and fed frozen food. And as an owner, you too can't be that gone. Otherwise, I'm going to go. Right before dinner, I had a chance to catch up with Teddy, the manager, so I could understand his perspective of what Afni and Brent are like as owners. Inappropriate things are commonly said. His personality has a lot to do with it. It's, you know, really common that he'll make you feel that this is the best place and you're lucky to be here. Their behavior as bosses is unacceptable. Wow, wow, wow. Clearly in denial. I appreciate the insight. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in there, yes? Definitely. And I want to observe what they're like during an evening at the Lakeview. So you have a key to the room. But let's hope that it's ready. A couple things that we're not offering. Um, no Chilean sea bass, no pizza. So No pizza? No pizza, no sea bass. I'm very disappointed. Fucking hell. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally 
Would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? Fresh. The burger is not frozen. It's the, it, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that like most oh, people do? You thawed it out. So it's not the frozen beef. then. It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out, and that to the, your customers is not a frozen burger. Well. Um, stay there. Let me just show you, you something. You. I'm waiting for him to come back. He's gonna ream me on something. Oh boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. Now your husband said it wasn't. No. What do you mean? No, it's 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 frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. Yeah. There's no such thing as a fresh burger, at least at least here in eastern Washington. We, we cannot get fresh. There's no fresh. You find me the burger. Come with me. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome. Please come in out of the cold. Are you dinner? dinner? Yes. Quick question. Do you love a burger? Yeah, I love yeah. a burger. Madam? Yes. Would you expect them to be made fresh here or frozen? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? Fresh all the way. No, should we tell them the truth? I mean, that's what we want to well, do. Well, we, we sell uh, our, our burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. But thawing them out doesn't make them fresh. fresh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Welcome, ladies. Hey, folks. How are you? Quick question. Coming out for dinner, would you expect a frozen burger to be served here tonight or a fresh one? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? I'll let you tell them. Oh, come on. You own the place. Stop. Well, we all of our beef that we get in, burgers, it comes in frozen. Okay. Our burgers, and we, and we thaw them out. Which, in his mind, convinces him it's fresh. Oh. Does that make it sound any better? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're still thank glad you. to have you. Thank, thank you. You, you, you bet. Oh, my God. After Brent tried to convince me that there were no fresh burgers in town... Hmm? I almost cry. It's OK. You did good, huh? I'm proud of you. I walked directly across the street and ordered one. So that's the lamb burger. Nice to see you. Come into a restaurant like this, would you expect your burgers to be fresh or frozen? Fresh. Burgers come in frozen, and we thaw them out. That's the story. Thank you. So, that is a lamb burger. Fresh. I'm getting sick to death of this denial, denial, denial. You've been making up bullshit oh, all fucking day. Yes, 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 you have. No. All your staff have the same thing to say. Passive aggressive, condescending, inappropriate, and stubborn. No, absolutely not. The staff, the way you treat them. What? There yeah, you go no, again. Yeah. Denial, oh, denial, no, denial. No, no, no. You're just scared about employing a team that's going to tell you the truth. That is bullshit. That is not. Because you don't like them confronting no. you with the truth. Yes. You'll no. fire them. No, I haven't fired and then anybody. I heard that you fired your son. Oh shit. You don't even know the fucking story. He was having some issues, Gordon, and I told I him... I was aware of the alcohol problem. He, I was aware right, of that. Right. I was trying to save his life. Yeah. My brother's a drug addict. We put him in rehab seven times, unsuccessfully. Mm -hmm. I don't give up on him. Yeah. But what I'm more concerned about is that nothing's affecting you. It's like we're doing great. And, and generally, the place runs quite well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come with me. Just yeah, you and I. Is this a joke for you? Can you no. give us two minutes, please? No. Is this, are you fucking around? No, I'm not fucking around. Are you trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Oh, hell no. You know the business is dwindling. So you've got all these rules, no fucking samples, no fucking kids. This place is thriving with families. We really don't want to have crying kids here. I just, I just would like to have a uh, quiet getaway for, for our honeymooners and, and uh, birthdays and anniversaries. A honeymoon? Venture, they come down to a romantic dinner and eat a frozen burger. Come on. This place is hemorrhaging money because you're caught in a web. Delusional, stubborn, old fashioned, and fucking pompous. Anything else? It's just a joke for you, isn't it? No, I'm just, next time I'm going to know to do a little dusting. Wow, a little dusting. Fuck me, how deluded. During dinner service, I decided to do some investigating in the rooms. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And after what I found, 
I gather the hotel guests along with Afni and Brent. Hey guys, come through please. Um, just very quickly, glasses on. There we are, come through. If you can just stand over here. Pillow left hand side, pillow number one. Mm. Can you see that? I can't see a darn thing. You can't see. Maybe Afni? Yeah. Explain to Brent what this is. Uh, spot. No, it's... Spot? You yeah. don't know? Yeah, spot. Maybe this one will be a little bit clearer. Blood. Yeah, there we go, hon. Well, that's disgusting. Right. Afni? Yes? Brent can't see anything. I, 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 uh, go ahead, where? I, well, I see that, of course. Okay. I see that one, yeah. see This is the worrying bit. Mm -hmm. These are the duvets that have been on these beds. That was just washed one week ago. Absolute, Every single one of them. Absolute rubbish. And look at this. I mean, these customers, the, they're the ones you're taking the money from. Don't you dare tell me that was washed a week ago. Don't one you dare. One week ago, I have Stop. the bills. We you have cannot be serious. We are serious. It was done, and that's that's it. We're not going to say that. I swear, I got the right. receipt. But I that got... is not clean. Oh, oh that's bullshit. Clean. It was yeah, just it's done. Yeah, it's bullshit. And this, go on. Oh. I see that, but one week ago that was cleaned. I'm done with this bullshit. The this is stop. Years. Just stop. It was we did 13 of them one lying. week ago, and they're not cleaning them properly. Stop just for once today. Fucking lying. And look at this. I mean, that is not clean. That was just washed one week ago. Stop just for once today. Lying. Let's just stay there two seconds. What the fuck? Did you have any idea you're sleeping in that? No, not at all. <laughs> I wish you can't I see that. I don't want to sleep in that. Brent? I, I, I see that. I want an explanation. Because all you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. Lied to me, lied to your staff, and I am not going to allow you to lie to the customers. And I totally fucking disagree with that too. I have not said one lie to you. Yes, I'm you not going to go for have. that. Yes, you have. No, I. You've been that fucking is lying to me all day. It's not true. You convinced that thought food is fresh food. You're robbing them of their cash. You're telling me this was cleaned a week ago. Let me ask you a question in front of your customers. Would you sleep on that? No. So why do you expect them to? Would you sleep on that? No. Not an apology? Nothing. I'd like to apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm disgusted. I've had enough. Anything you'd like to say? The pillow's like this. I apologize. Can I have a word with him on my own? Would you mind? These guests are hours away from putting their heads on your pillows. Blood-stained pillows. Semen-stained duvet covers. And sweat accumulated over years. I, I can see that, Gordon. I am struggling. I'm struggling with your husband that's in denial. I'm struggling with these arrogance, and I'm struggling with these blatant lies. I'm not here to butt heads with a liar. I'm here to help turn this business around. <sighs> Afni, you can talk to me. Are you worried about Brent? He's my husband. Yes, I am. It's my life. We have a daughter together. Does your daughter feel this at home? And he fell out with his son. He fired his son. Yeah. Does that still bother him? Is that what it is? He's still his son. Of course he's still his son. I still care about him. It doesn't sound like he's caring about him. The guy was drinking. He needed help. And he got rid of him. Is that what's bothering him? Is that why he's in denial? I need Brent to take his guard down. Something inside here is bothering him. I don't know if it's the financial debt, the pressure. Is it his son? I don't know. I can't get in. I want to talk to his son. How can I get hold of him? I got his number. Thank you. Afni, you're the only hope I've got. 
Can we work together? Yeah. And can we get him to yeah. open up? Okay. And tomorrow morning, I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. I really needed to break through to Brent and to see why he is so stubborn. So my team and I attempted to get hold of his son to meet me at the hotel, but we were unsuccessful. Now it's up to me to try to get through to Brent. Let's take a seat at the bar. I've got to get through to you. Why are you so stubborn? You got fucked off last night, I mentioned your son. Mm -hmm. Why did that hit a nerve? You know, we, we just had a, a, a breakdown in the relationship when his when his mom remarried. Yeah. Uh, they, she remarried the same day, the divorce was final. So, parted company with your son. Mm -hmm. You weren't even present at your daughter's wedding. I was not invited. I didn't even know she got married. I was destroyed. Everybody wants to see their daughter. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got three daughters. That's painful. You know, when, you're, when your uh, kids tell you... I don't know, Gordon. Tell you what. Well, uh, <clears throat> I have three grandkids. I haven't even seen two of them. You know what? You know, I am stubborn. Maybe I am stubborn, but when you get shut off, and then their mom died. I thought, wow, maybe this is going to be my chance. Maybe they're going to come to me. But my but you can't. My son it. just drinks too goddamn much. I, but, but, I, but, that, but that, you're still their father. You're still their dad. I know it. You can't go around with that, 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 mm -hmm. that, that anger. I, I, I've been waiting for them to come to me. It's instead instead of the other. That's never yeah. going to happen. Yeah. It's not well, that's, time. that's my proudness and my stubbornness, yeah. I, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to change your ways and you have to start becoming a lot more generous as an owner, as a father responsible for three kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not here to fix your family. I'd love you to. I would so fucking love you to. And just you calling them, making an effort, they need to see the change. But you need to embrace that. Yeah. I agree. There's too much at stake. Reach out those kids you got to bring those barriers down and you got to open up and somewhere in there there's the friendly comforting supportive you know astute Brent we've got to get back there okay. Brent and Anthony's bad reputation within the town comes as no surprise you got a picture there mm -hmm. yeah. great give me two minutes please okay I've gathered local business owners to show Brent and Anthony the issues they don't realize they have Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good, good. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you for coming. You guys are the pillars of the community. You have businesses and you are very proud of what you've built here. And I've been struggling, trying to get through to Brent. He's in denial. I feel like Brent is an undertaker. Those people that are working for him, there aren't many yes. that have very good things to say. Wow. That's ridiculous. I had a friend that used to work here at BC's, and she had a customer that had a steak dinner and her baked potato, it was all great. And he wanted to take it with him, so she took it in the back and set it on the counter and went to get a to-go container. And Afni sc scraped it into the garbage. And she said, well, uh, my customer kind of wanted to take that. And she watched Afni grab the baked potato, oh. wipe it off, no. and grab the steak. Out the trash. And she made her give that to the customer. No. Oh. No free samples on the ice cream. How hard is it to give somebody a little plastic spoon? Wow. <laughs> what do they give back to the town? They are absolutely no part of this community. They have, they have built walls around themselves, and you need to take care of each other in the off season. It's locals taking care of locals. Yeah. You know, I will That's say with the fires, say. you know, this whole town came together and I don't think I can remember them offering help in any way. It was a crisis that everybody found a need and everybody helped. Yeah, except them. Except them. But that's the spirit of Chelan, I think, is what we're getting at. We share tractors, we share, you know, from vineyard work to some of us have restaurants, so we share employees. He's oblivious. 
how come there's no wine from this amazing region on their list? When we first started our winery, his excuse was that the wineries have restaurants that compete with his restaurant. In addition to that, it, it would be a shame if there was just one good place in town to go to. We want tourists to come here and have a great time everywhere they go. So if, if he does well, we'll all do well. I really appreciate the feedback, but I want you to help me get through them on another level now because I'm going to go and get them. And we're going to tackle this head on. Uh, give me two minutes. Thank you so much. You want to go? It's really, really hard to take it. Let's go. Because we try really hard. It just shocked me. Wow. Hi. Hi, Hi folks. Everybody. These are, in my mind, even more important than customers because you guys should be bonded. Clearly, you're not. Why is it taking so long? Sometimes you need somebody to slap your face. We were in a comfort zone yeah. somewhat and uh, used to the way we did everything, uh, you, you know, for a lot of years, and uh, it needs to be changed. Maybe, maybe we banked on the location too much. There's a lot of things we've done wrong. They're desperate to see you do well. Anything to say? There can never be too many fun, good places in town. We always want somewhere to go and relax and enjoy ourselves. I think we all want you back on our radar. All of this has been a wake-up call for us. This is part of the reason why we asked Chef Ramsey to come to help us. We're listening. We, we heard everything that you had to say. And we are going to try to do much, much better. We're hearing you. I don't think that I knew how the business community was connected, that everybody is feeding off of each other. We have to realize that to be part of this connection, we have to change. With Brent and Afni committing to change, my team moved forward, getting rid of all the dust and cobwebs. We furnished all the rooms with brand new bedding, but the biggest change was overhauling the ice cream parlor. Off we go. Ladies, welcome. <gasps> my God! Holy moly! Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what I call a parlor. You had a dreadful space yeah. here. Previously. Yes, oh my God. Now, it's turned into something magical. Do you think there's any chance that I could get a sample? <laughs> we will be throwing samples out everywhere. This is way beyond our expectation. Given the importance of the local wineries, I brought in Samilia Dave Foss. How are you? Who repaired the bad reputations with the locals that Brent and Afni had. You're going to need to nurture those relationships. And he created a brand new menu featuring all Washington wine. You're no longer going to have to say, sorry, I don't have any local wines. Finally, to accompany all this, I created a smaller, more exciting menu that features all fresh food. Dig in, have a little taste. Oh my god, this is so good. It's delicious. Oh my god. Mm. Everything fresh, better. Mm. Fantastic. What I have learned from this community is that local support is everything, and this town is willing to give Brent and Afni a second chance. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Good to see you guys. Would you like to see my new ice cream parlor here? With all the new improvements, I'm hoping Brent and Afni make a good impression for the people of Chelan. I actually brought you a list of a lot of the purveyors that we work with. Cool. Oh, you want to check in? How are you guys? The hotel is booked up. This is just gorgeous. And the guests will sleep well tonight in the brand new bedding we've added to all the rooms. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try the feral salad. There's a real buzz about the new menu. Order up. And the kitchen is easily executing the dishes. A quiche, a chicken sandwich, and I got the salmon. Okay. What we're trying to do is just focus on the local wineries. With the help of Samilia Dave Foss, the customers are pleased with the local selection of wines they're offering at BC McDonald's. You like that? It's really good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I'm always making a mess. That's the idea. I'm the official scooper. The ice cream shop is a hit, and Brent is even happy giving away samples. If you drop it on the floor, you own it. Right. With everything a success, 
I'm hoping Brent makes one important rule change with his hotel. Have you thought about what I mentioned about the children regarding children in the hotel, or are you still sticking with no children? You know what? I'm going to stick to the adults only. Adults only? Why? Well, look, at when you take two or three or four children up there, and I'm going to tell you, they wipe out the whole damn place. What, the noise? Noise, crying, whatever, uh, gum, and, uh, pop, and God forbid, uh, samples of ice cream. They will You have a young daughter. I know. I'm talking three, four, eight-year-old. Have you asked yourself the consequences you know, of my missing on turnover revenue? Yeah. We may miss a few, but I think we miss a few on the other end if there were two or three kids running down the hall. But not every, yeah. every kid is, is, is that noisy. I mean, just trying to be open with maybe a couple of rooms. I will give it thought. That's a tough one. I'm disappointed Brent won't alter his rules about allowing kids at the hotel. But hopefully, after seeing the success of the relaunch, he'll change his mind. Keep up the good work, yes? Ryan, do not let him go back. Absolutely not. OK. No. Well done. Yep. Thank you. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Everybody now in this town is rallying around for your success. Mm -hmm. Yes. So embrace it. Watching you stand behind mm -hmm. that counter, just giving samples out and seeing the delight on the kid's face, that is extraordinary. It's awesome. Please don't go back. Stay strong. We will. Oh. There's an amazing guy underneath all those layers. There is? Yes, there is. I'm just... There is. Thank you. There is. You can do this, OK? I can do it. Yeah? yeah. Take care. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Look out. OK. And he's going to think about getting yeah. some kids in here. OK. OK. Yeah. We're, not we're working bad. on it. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stubborn. OK. okay. A couple of scoops of ice cream goes a long way. Ooh, boy, it's really gone down, hasn't it? I'm getting money. <laughs> okay, thank you. Take so care. Much. Good night. Okay, bye bye. Despite my help with the outreach of the community, Brent quickly reverted back to his old ways, distancing himself from the locals. Much of the staff have left or been fired and the hotel's reputation within the town has only gotten worse. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know where in the hell everybody's at. 